Good morning, everyone. My name is James Powell. I'm a senior consultant with Cynogenics, and I'm here today with a very special guest, Dr. Earl I, who is the Cynogenics physician partner in Cynogenics Atlanta. How are you doing, Dr. I? Good morning, James, and thank you for, uh, for helping. Uh, doing great. Great. Everyone, today, I'm here to talk really from a patient point of view. If any of you females are out there who really have inquired about the service, maybe you've registered online, you probably want to know what the program is all about. In fact, one of the common questions we get, is this program even for women? And of course, absolutely it is. We've treated thousands of women over the years, really from all walks of life, even multiple countries. And the program does incredibly well uh, for our women out there. Uh, so today, Dr. I, I want to talk a little bit about that. Before we get into that, if you wouldn't mind just sharing with the uh, people out here today exactly you know, how you got into uh, age management medicine, a little bit about your background. Thank you, James. Well, I, I'm a, a practicing physician who was in quote-unquote conventional medicine for 35 years. Uh, I had boards in four specialties on infectious disease, pulmonary disease, critical care, and internal medicine. And, and then I went and got a fellowship in age management medicine. What really propelled me to do that? James, uh, watching <clears throat> people in intensive care units. I mean, I'm seeing people in their 20s and 30s and 40s and, I mean, real young people, much younger than they should be, in there trying to die. And I'm trying to save them. And what always stuck in the back of my mind was, you know, if we really had great proactive health care, these people wouldn't be there in the first place. So I made the decision to, to change fields again to try and advance and, and, and go proactive. Let's keep people healthy. Absolutely. I definitely like that. Uh, preventing disease is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. And also, everyone, other than preventing disease, the program is really about looking and feeling your very best, regardless of your age. I know I'm 52, and I like being uh, like I'm in my 20s again, really. The uh, cognitive functioning, the, the physical energy, the even staying trim and fit, you know, the body composition I had in my 20s. This is why uh, our males and female patients come to our program. So next I want to talk about what are some of the common slowdown symptoms of aging? What are our women out there watching this video today? What are they experiencing as they get older? James, uh, James, our women experience uh, a lot of common type situations. First of all, as they get a little bit older, uh, it's very common to begin putting on those extra pounds here and there, you know, and we, we, they look in the mirror, they're just not quite as happy with how they look. Mm -hmm. Uh, as they get a little bit older, energy starts to drop down. Uh, they just don't have the ability to keep up, do all those things they did before. Uh, and then they, they get into the hormone, true big hormone imbalance. The hormone imbalances are occurring all along, but they get into major balances. And they can even begin premenopausal. They may have hot flashes. The mood swings are common. Uh, low sex drive, husband's interested and she's not. Uh, and other issues that they can see, just they don't focus as well, they're not functioning as well, their skin doesn't look as good. Uh, these are a lot of the complaints I hear from our ladies. Absolutely. And I, in my capacity, I definitely talk with a lot of patients, mm -hmm. and I hear those all the time, those mm -hmm. symptoms. Uh, I have to say, even my, my girlfriend, who's uh, 43, uh, I have her on the program, mm -hmm. and I'm so glad you all have helped her. It's amazing. Uh, she looks so much different. The body composition, she's so trim and fit, she really don't even work out very much. I mean, actually, not much at all, quite frankly. But she has just uh, done amazingly well. And I hear this from our female patients all the time. So uh, definitely a lot of the symptoms that uh, many of you watching this video today are experiencing. You know, it's kind of nice to, to uh, get up every day and know that you're really looking and feeling your absolute best. Uh, you know, society demands it. I think maybe unfairly so, but mm -hmm. arguably maybe more for females than even males. I think women really feel the pressure of that today right. uh, to look and feel, uh, you know, like they did in their 20s, to be the same dress size, things like that. You see it on all the TV shows, now the commercials. Uh, women definitely have it, I think, tough in society. Mm -hmm. So that's probably the number one reason why women come into our program. Uh, whether they're a businesswoman, whether they're active with their children, grandchildren, uh, whatever it may be, they need to look and feel their very best. And this is what our program does for our female patients. So now that we've talked about some of the common symptoms, let's talk about some of the causes. 
really there's two major causes of all the changes that you're going through. Uh, and our program addresses both of those areas. One would be the metabolic and hormonal piece, right. and the other would be, of course, the lifestyle challenges. So if you wouldn't mind talking a little bit about those two areas. Sure. Uh, James, as, as all of us get older, there's a little bit of science behind it that, that makes sense. We all, after age 30, begin to drop our hormones, uh, male and female. The females lose theirs in, in somewhat of a more specific pattern. I, I can actually give you the exact uh, hormones they're losing. We won't add to the discussion, but the long and the short of it is because of that, they begin to notice these changes. They're less firm. Uh, they're putting fat in all those little places they're not happy with. So we look and, and try and optimize that. We don't look at one hormone. We look at 10. Uh, and by balancing all 10 is how we get the kind of results we get. As I tell everybody, if you go to the symphony and they only have two or three of the pieces in the symphony playing, it doesn't sound very good. So we've got to have the whole symphony playing at the same time for the best outcome. Then on top of that, we look at metabolics. We've got to look at sugar. We've got to look at cholesterol. We've got to look at sed rates. We look at all the things that we know predispose our women to develop such things as heart and stroke and cancer and diabetes and Alzheimer's. I haven't really done much for you if I get you feeling good and then you die of a heart attack. Well, how have I helped you that much? So in order to win the battle, you know, I have to address all those. Now, in terms of lifestyle changes, we certainly will show them how to do optimal. As you say, you don't have to spend forever doing it. It's, it we're not asking huge, huge changes. And, it's, and, and many times they can actually even eat the same or a little bit more, still lose weight, still get the benefits they're looking for. So we do address those. We talk to them about sleep. How can we make sleep? Women particularly have issues with sleep as they get older. They, they just don't sleep well. They don't feel as good the next day. And that lends to, to emotional issues for them. So we want to optimize that. We want them coming out of bed feeling great in the morning. And, and of course, last of all, we help them deal with stress. Women, God bless them, deal with stress all the time. All those kids and running a house and taking care of, uh, of, of the bills and and doing all the things that women typically do. Actually, there's a study that shows that a woman that takes care of a disabled child because of really imbalances may lose as much as 11 to 15 years of life. Wow, that's amazing. So uh, yes, definitely those uh, metabolic and hormonal changes are, are something that must be corrected. Uh, and uh, women uh, who are out of balance in these hormones, which is all the time after a certain age, definitely have to get those addressed. If you do, wonderful things happen. So that's the good news. The other aspect are really the lifestyle challenges. Now, just like our male patients, a lot of women out there might uh, not really work out at all. Other women may work out all the time or some work out kind of in between. Uh, also the eating. Uh, so if you could talk a little bit about those two areas of lifestyle, what we take in nutritionally and how our level of activity may be. Happy to. James, uh, when it comes to nutrition, we take a very different approach. We try not to give you so much a diet as we teach you healthy and good foods and nutritious foods that work and bad foods that you really want to stay away from. If you focus and eat on the healthy side, you can actually eat as much if not more than you did before. We're not going to ask you to starve to death, point being, if you'll focus on our program, do what we ask. So we work with you to, to do, make that institute that change. Now in terms of physical activity, as I said, we don't expect them to go and spend hours every day in the gym. I mean, they don't have the time. Uh, probably uh, energy even then might, might be a little marginal, but what we do expect them to do is give us a little bit of activity, and if we can get that done, we can show them how to maximize that benefit, because one of the tests we'll do will show us the heart rate and exertion level to work at, so if I get them down there a little, a little every day, they will do quite well. They don't have to spend major time. Absolutely. So you know, one thing, I, I always think about this when I'm out in restaurants. I do like to eat out. My travel schedule and all that sometimes dictates mm -hmm. that. And I, I'm just amazed at the women I see out there who, when I look, I always look at what people eat, by the way. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's because I'm a patient here. But I see these women eating very well. Mm -hmm. I see them eating their salads every day and trying to do the right things and watch their portion controls. And unfortunately, they're not getting any results from it. it. It must be frustrating. And if you're watching this today, if you're a lady out there who knows you're eating healthy and you're not getting any results, uh, that's, this is what we do in our program. We address the root causes of this. Uh, and then we help you in fine-tuning the lifestyle part of this. But if the root causes, the metabolic and hormonal piece is not corrected, women, 
I don't care if you try to starve. I don't care if you try to eat salads every day. And who wants to live that way anyway? Right. You know, life is too short. You should feel like you can eat well and eat gourmet foods and, and you know, prepare nice foods and eat out in restaurants and all that. And that's what our program allows you to do. Uh, so the next thing I want to talk about is we've talked about the symptoms. We've talked about, uh, you know, the major causes of these changes as you get older. Let's talk about the process of actually getting the help. We have something called an elite health evaluation. It is by far uh, the most comprehensive evaluation. It's the most beneficial one day you'll ever spend. It probably lasts six or seven hours. It can last you know, pretty much the whole day. There's so many uh, things that you'll learn that day, and this is really how we start the process, everyone. So Dr. Rye, if you could go through a little bit about the process of what we call an elite health evaluation. James, I'm happy to do that. When we do an elite health evaluation, it really is a whole process. We start off by, of course, speaking with you uh, when we first talk. We learn about you. We're going to learn about your history, your family history, issues you have, how much issue it is, for example, keeping up with the kids or uh, dealing with all the daily things that women have to deal with. And based on that, we decide if the program is going to be uh, the best option for you. Uh, and then once we uh, have that information, we, we put the program in place. And, and the first step is we're going to have a blood drawer come and, and draw your blood at your house. You don't have to go anywhere. We come to you. It's a 90-piece package of blood work. What it shows me is it shows me a blueprint of where you're at aging-wise and all the hormones, all 10 hormones that we look at. We don't look, by the way, just one or two or three. We look at 10 and we try to optimize all those back to the 75th percentile of a 30-year-old. Hence, we talk about them trying to go back and feel and function like they're in their early 30s again. That We really do kind of have that as a goal. Uh, next, we, we look at the metabolics, and we can check those out, see where they're at. Then we do history, and then after that, we bring them into the office, and it's a seven-and-a-half-hour office assessment, between seven and seven-and-a-half, depending on the center. Part of that is we start off with a DEXA scan. A DEXA scan is a quick way to tell what percent body fat you have, how much of your body has, has become the wrong form, uh, and where it's at. Is it in your belly, which is dangerous, uh, particularly for ladies, because that is a metabolic organ. It actually acts like an endocrine organ and does changes to the endocrine system. Number two, we also look at the muscle you have and the bone density. And again, in women, bone density is very important. Many of them have osteoporosis. And if we correct that early, we, we, we totally change things and dramatically reduce the risk of dying. A hip fracture after age 65, 30% of the people die from it. 30%, which is kind of really amazing to me. Yeah. Uh, not only that, but the back fractures that cause disability, we can hit those off. Three, we're going to do, uh, on top of that, we're going to do uh, a metabolic evaluation. What, I mean, it's going to be a, a, an exercise evaluation. Uh, we call it a metabolic cart. What it does is it allows me to tell how conditioned you are, from, from a couch potato all the way to, to uh, the best tennis player in the world. Uh, and we can show you where you are on that scale uh, and tell you how conditioned you are. We then know where we need to move you to on the scale to keep you healthy. And then we don't have to take you to all the way to the top end of the scale. We get you up in, in the healthy range by moving you up just a few spots. We also look at how well your heart and lung and muscles work together. And we can tell... Are they working well? If so, great. How good is the heart? We know whether you've got a good or bad heart. We can also tell you what the optimal heart rate and exertion level are to work out. So you go to the gym and you do your 15 minutes and get your benefit. Last of all, we also know how many calories you burn. We can calculate exactly how many calories your body burns every day based on that study. So it really helps us putting together the nutritional component. Next, we do brain testing, find out how well your mind's working and functioning. Then we do, uh, after that, we do carotid artery dopplers. We look at the thickness of, of the carotid artery. Now, if that's abnormal, it truly is life-saving because 95% of the time, or 98% of the time, actually, if whatever's happening in that there is happening in the heart. So the heart can be a real issue. Last of all, we also do complete biometrics, range of motion, uh, mobility, agility, strength, endurance, and that sort of thing. Then a half-hour physical exam. And then the lady and I will sit down and we will put together the program. We will, we will take all these components, we take all the data, information, combine it, and we develop a unique program for them. It is, it, there are no cookie cutter programs. It's a customized program built exclusively to their physiology, to their biochemistry. 
Based on that, we, we prescribe the type of exercise we think is going to work, the nutritional supplements that they need. And by the way, the ones we use are pharmaceutical grade. They're made by a pharmacy, no fillers, no dyes, and all American source, so we don't get heavy metals and toxins and what have you. And we put together a, a nutrition program for them along with sleep and the stress management and balance the hormones and balance the metabolics. And at the end of the day, they have a complex program built for them. Now, we also, after that, you have to meet an hour with an exercise physiologist who really flushes that out, and last of all, an hour with a nutritionist here at our center, which really helps them understand, and we give them actually a little booklet that really lays it out so it makes it easy for them. Absolutely. You know, I'm trying to think of what all would be the most important things uh, that I could relay to everyone today as I hear all that. And I've gone through the process, and I've known so many of our female patients and spoken with them over the years, including even some people in my personal life. Uh, and I think one of the things that stands out in my mind is the time that you give. Uh, women probably a lot more sensitive to this than, than maybe male patients. And the lack of time sometimes they get in traditional medicine. They don't feel like their physicians are really listening to them. They rush them in, they rush them out. You spend just with your physician on this visit. You spend just with that person alone, probably about two hours of that seven hour day. Uh, you will not be rushed through here. You will be listened to and will meticulously take everything that's going on, all the diagnostics, all the tests, everything that you report on the questionnaire. We'll talk you through these things and we will put together a program just for you. And it will work incredibly well because it's individualized 1000% just for you, what your needs are and what your goals are. The other thing that comes to mind is I kind of jokingly said my girlfriend really don't work out much is I've talked to a lot of female patients over the years, they're not gym rats. Uh, in fact, my girlfriend will flat out refuse to go to a gym. Uh, and some people for various reasons, maybe, the, maybe it's a time factor. Uh, I know my girlfriend does her workouts in about 15 or 20 minutes as she watches uh, Dancing with the Stars or American Idol sometimes. I'll do mine sometimes watching the news. So you don't have to go join a gym. You don't have to get personal trainers. This is about you women getting what you need on your own time. Uh, so we can even put together things you can do from your, your house, your living room, your hotel room if you travel, things like that. So that's something I think very important to keep in mind. You will have so many people at your beck and call, your disposal, which is what I want to talk about next, the ongoing follow-up that we give you. Having an exercise physiologist just for you, having a nutritionist just for you, your own personal one along with your physician doing regular follow-up. So let's talk a little bit about the ongoing care and how these women can get amazing results. James, the, the ongoing care is just as important, uh, actually the most important part of the program. So what do we do? Well, we try to reach out individually to each patient. We call every month. We try to call up and say, Mrs. Jones, uh, how are you feeling? What are you noticing? Have we made the progress we thought we would? What is working right? What is working wrong? And, and I'll call one month, they have the exercise physiologist, another month nutrition. So they're always being contacted by people that have the knowledge and ability to help them. They can ask their questions, and more importantly, we can make sure it's working right. If not, we'll tweak the program. We're fine-tuning this as we go, and, and we may spend a year or two fine-tuning until we get it absolutely perfect. So we work at it till we get it right. Number two, we're going to send a blood drawer by in our house four times during the year. We want to check and make sure, are we correcting the hormones? Are they in the range we want them? Do we have the metabolics optimized? Do we have the other parameters the way we want? Are we looking younger on this blood profile that we want to see? Three... And, and one thing I should add, too, we're looking to make sure that we don't get side effects or problems. Above all, do no harm. We, we don't want to hurt anybody with our program, sure. And last of all, we obviously are going to be sending their vitamins, supplements, hormones, nutrients, minerals, whatever they need in a plain brown box to their front door once a month. We make the program easy for them. We know moms are time limited. God, they've got a million things on their schedule that they've got to do. So we make it as simple as we can. And that's how we follow up. Now, what do we expect out of that uh, in terms of what response they would get? Uh, they always kind of ask us that. Uh, the answer is that our women in the first two months begin to notice that they're starting to tone and firm up. All those little problem bulges are starting to improve. Uh, we see that energy level come up. It's not as hard to keep up with the kids. Uh, we're getting through the day better. We're not as pooped at night. Uh, we start seeing mood and, and emotion, you, you know, typically as they get premenopausal or menopausal, those, those, those hormones rage up and down, there, there's all kinds of emotional issues. 
those smooth out and are much calmer, much more relaxed. Uh, finally, libido perks back up. You know, when, when, when hubby comes to bed at night, it isn't a chore that it used to be. Uh, it, it's something that maybe they look forward to in most cases. So uh, I think those are some of the big changes we see. There's many, many other less changes. We see skin changes, better skin, better hair. Uh, uh, we see just a, the, a sense of well-being come back. It's, it's hard to describe a sense of well-being, but it comes back and it's really a great thing to have. Absolutely. And, and again, from a personal point of view and knowing patients and also uh, talking with so many patients at Cynogenics over the years, our female patients, I can attest to all of those. Uh, definitely the skin changes. It's amazing, even with my girlfriend. Uh, you, you just uh, hormones have such a major impact on your skin and skin quality, and it's amazing what can happen uh, with just correcting that. Uh, also, I think about the uh, the body composition changes. Now, you women may have a little bit different goals with body composition than our typical male patient, but just being trim and toned, just have that youthful look. Uh, even the quality, you know, you'll, I've seen women where maybe they look, uh, you see them in a dress or a jeans and they look you know, relatively good height and weight proportion, mm -hmm. but maybe the quality of that height and weight is just definitely not like it used to be. And you see major changes in that. Uh, I know my girlfriend is back to the same size she was in high school. And uh, I'm telling you, she don't, uh, she don't eat rabbit food and she don't work out every day. Uh, and you don't have to when you get these things corrected. So uh, definitely nice body composition changes. The energy is just hard to describe. We get women from all walks of life. We get anywhere from the busy housewife soccer mom to busy executives in companies. They're extremely busy and fly across the country, run major companies. We get them all the way in between. And to have that A-plus game back, to be so sharp cognitively, to have your physical energy literally like it was back in your youth, your college days. It's amazing. And it's just hard to describe or even put a value on that feeling alone. The sexual changes, women, you do experience those just like male patients. And we've heard this over the years so many times, I cannot count how many female patients who have come into our program have told us they had no libido. And even with the physiological changes that happen with you females as you get a certain age, even, even downright uh, painful before you start the program. Not pleasant at all. Right. And to have that come back and improve that part of your self-esteem, that part of your, your intimacy if you're in a relationship, that's very, very important. So women come to us for all those reasons, everyone. Certainly lowering risk factors. I think about how many patients, including my girlfriend, who are healthy, you know, 43-year-old, not that old, uh, but all, already was showing uh, the bone density that she was probably leading toward, you know, 10 years, maybe having some issues. Mm -hmm. Well, our program is about prevention, everyone. We're about catching it a decade before it would happen and correcting it now. There's some supplements she's on now. Right. And obviously the hormones being corrected, hormones play a major role in your bone density. Mm -hmm. We all know that you females have a much higher chance to have osteoporosis and maybe have those uh, uh, hip fractures and 30% of those patients die at some point. Let's catch this 10, 15, 20 years before it would ever become a problem. That's what our program is all about. I think about people I know, their panels, they, might, they may have normal cholesterol, but how many people die of a heart attack? How many women die of a heart attack the first time they have a heart attack and they had normal cholesterol panels? Actually, 50%. These, see, these, are, these things are important, everyone. So yes, the long-term health and vitality, but the here and now, look good, feel good, look in the mirror every day, know that you're on top of your A-plus game. You look and, 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 and feel as good as you ever have uh, back in your youth. Uh, females, this is what we do with our patients, uh, both male and female. So the next thing I want to talk about is, uh, I think women have to make a choice here because a lot of women may be a little bit more apprehensive to first contact us. Once they do, they're always glad. Uh, but uh, if you can draw a contrast, the typical 40, 50-year-old female who might be watching this video, what is the decision they need to make? In other words, where can they go with us versus if they don't, they don't really do anything about all the metabolic and hormonal changes? What can they look forward to in the next five or ten years? James, it, it really is straightforward. It, the long and short of it, and I'm, I'm sorry to say this, is means doing nothing is all these issues will get worse. Uh, if you don't uh, get proactive, uh, the weight gain typically continues, or at best you hold even if you're lucky. Uh, the problem is, even if you hold even, you're still losing muscle. Remember I talked about sarcopenia. Sarcopenia because women have the hormones that balance muscles too, so that's progressing. 
skin changes will progress. Uh, you will get the uh, the changes that you're not happy with. You you start typically using a lot more makeup. You if you notice, you probably spend quite a bit more on makeup as you get a little bit older than, than when you were younger. Although that's... and hair products and hair products. Your hair quality definitely gets better, by the way, too. Yeah, I've noticed yeah. that. And and and, and all and the, those type of things. So those are just a few uh, of the examples that that we we talk about. But but the long and short of it is, be proactive. Restore your, your functionality, your, your appearance, your skin, your energy, your, uh, tone up the body, get rid of those little fat deposits, uh, go back, be emotionally uh, stable, uh, have libido, have sex drive, and feel good. Uh, I mean, I, I can't see, <laughs> you know, the choices are pretty de stark. De to definitely a, a major contrast. Uh, so women, my final thoughts would be, if you're watching this video, is uh, think about uh, the best days of your life how you looked and felt then. This is what our program can do for you. Uh, but I know when you look at the ads a lot of times, we do have some pretty powerful male ads out there. It's good for marketing, I suppose. It makes the phone ring, people come in, things like that. But this program arguably is even more important for females. Females are more complex hormonally. There's even more hormones involved we have to look at. Uh, the whole thing with menopause for you females uh, automatically makes some, some significant considerations in your aging process that maybe some of the males don't have to deal with. Uh, and I, and I, believe that, uh, I believe you have more to risk here by not doing something about this. There is help for you, but you need to pick up the phone and call. We want to talk with you. It's a confidential uh, consultation. There's no obligation. We're not going to rush you off the phone. We'll take all the time that you need. So everyone, I... I really implore you to call the number that was given when you received this email. Uh, if it's me, I personally want to talk with you. I would love to be able to help you out, answer your questions, help guide you in making the best decision for your here and now and also your future. So pick up the phone, everyone, and call us. We're here for you. Let me just build on that again. Give us a call. I'm more than happy to speak with you, and, and we will help you. Yes. Thank you so much. We look forward to speaking with you.